as we mentioned, to accompany these essays is going to be a podcast on CarneyCouncil.org and on our Carney Council iTunes channel called The Crack Up. So what can we expect from The Crack Up in the, the coming months? I hope a lot of listeners will tune in to this podcast, The Crack Up. It's really exciting to me. I'm grateful to the Carnegie Council for offering it, CarnegieCouncil.org. And every week or two, the, the, the pieces in the New York Times will appear um, sometimes once a week, sometimes every other week, but on a major theme or, or a story or a, a person of interest from 1919. And after the piece appears, we will offer a podcast with the writer of the piece in which I will ask them why they got interested, why that person or that event is so interesting, what we can take away from it in 2019. And I hope it will start a lot of questions. I hope high school students and college students will listen in, people with just a strong general interest in history of any age group, Republicans, Democrats, academics, non-academics. But um, it's a really interesting year for the collision of all of these hopes and dreams at the beginning of the year for peace, no more war, women's rights, um, African-American rights, new kinds of citizenship, and then over the year, crushing reality comes in, and a lot of those hopes and dreams are not going to be realized in 1919. Some will be somewhat realized later in the 20th century. Some we're still really struggling with to get right in 2019, but I think focusing on this year when so much is up for grabs is fascinating historically anyway, but it gives us a sense of what we can do in our own era to make our lives better. Thank you.